electron to in the electron and the electron is there in the electrolysis. When he did the electrolysis work in 1830s, there was no electron. He did electrolysis, large electrolysis without electron, right? Remember that. You, you should teach like that. How did he think of that? I think this is how we should, young people should really think about science, how people create ideas. Unfortunately, it is not easy. There is no way to teach creativity. You can never do all the mentoring you want. You want to create a man with creative ideas. Creativity is something different. There is no classroom for creativity. But there is an atmosphere we can provide where people become creative. For that, the reading habit, studying history, learning stories of science, unfortunately, none of this is done in schools. Nobody shows even a picture of Faraday or any Raman or any scientist in school. Nobody sees a photograph of any great scientist. Nobody tells them stories. Stories are very important. Listen to stories about scientists, of scientists, how they did science. You know, what is amazing about Faraday? The simplicity of experiment, the way he discovered electricity. Look at the experiment. The way he did, the famous experiment he did, I don't know whether you know this, on how what happens to the plane of polarization in the mind, well, it doesn't matter, Faraday rotation. I have not explained that there is no time for that. How did he do that? Even today, to do the physics experiment, in fact, our, my friend Ramesh did Faraday related by PhD in the institute. You, you had a very difficult experiment to set up. But it didn't take those days in the 19th century. And more than that, the simplicity of the way he thought. You know, I don't know whether you know that. Uh, for children, this will be a good example to remember. People ask him, Professor Mr. Faraday, Oxygen is supposed to be paramagnetic. Nitrogen is not paramagnetic. How do you, can you show that? Well, I'll tell you one experiment. He said, he took a little magnet that he had in his lab, very small magnet. And he made soap bubbles containing oxygen, soap bubbles containing nitrogen. He let the bubbles go through the magnet. The soap bubbles containing oxygen got stuck to the magnet. He said, oxygen is paramagnetic. <laughs> Do a simple experiment. Faraday's mind was extraordinary. And what is, of course, what is, as Einstein said, also Maxwell said, he was a great guru. Why is he a great guru? The great thing in physics we talk about, unification of forces. The idea of unification of forces in physics started with Faraday. He was the first one. First one when he saw the lines of force, remember magnetism, magnetism and electricity will have a common origin. You remember all that, my Faraday said. And if you see Maxwell, Maxwell said, Whatever I've done is nothing. The great guru, the great master was Faraday. Maxwell always considered him as his guru, as his as a great master. In fact, Einstein thought of him so well. In Einstein's office, other than Newton, there were two more photographs in his Einstein's office. One was Faraday, another was Maxwell. And how did he do that with three years of schooling? He did not. Maybe we should not go to college, otherwise we will become Faraday. With three years of schooling, it is an extraordinary new idea for the concourse which Einstein gave shape to it. People, unification of forces, a lot of people have contributed later. But the original idea, very first idea in 19th century by Faraday. But what is also I want young people to remember, however great you become as a scientist, however great you become as a thinker, don't forget that you are a human being. You have to have simple life, you have to have simplicity, and ordinary, with, deal with ordinary people like you should. Simplicity is very important. But not only simplicity, behaving well with fellow men. In fact, not only that, denying things which you don't require. Faraday was a master of that. Even I tell this story all the time. Queen Victoria writes a letter to Faraday. Many dear Mr. Faraday, for the wonderful services you have done to science, I would like to make you a knight of the land, knight, give you the knighthood. He would have become Sir Michael Faraday. He wrote back, my dear Queen, you have been so gracious. You know, I'm just ordinary Faraday. People call him my quicker father. I don't want to be knighted. Thank you very much. He did that. How many would do that today? Even more important thing about you about him is when he was letter, given, a, given a wonderful sent a letter by the Royal Society. I've been a fellow of the Raja Society now for 35 years or something. The great honor even now be a, be a fellow of the Raja Society. But the Raja Society, those days, in 19th century, writes to him, Mr. Faraday, we would like you to become president of the Raja Society. What a great honor, he writes. Faraday writes back. What a great honor to be called 
we ask the President of the Lord Sabi, but you know, but my place is in the laboratory. Please excuse me. I think we should learn as like this. This is meant for young people. Don't be carried away by stupid salaries, increments, additional something. I'm going to give somebody a job just to five more rupees. Don't take it. But keep the money you will save. Money is not important. It is important to live on. Not important to have a very good life. That's something you work for. Faraday is a good example for that. To me, at least in my personal life, I never thought, no, bother about money, money is not important. More than that, what is what, what, really more, by, more abiding, more enjoyable, more exciting is innovation, research, finding new ideas. You know, you keep on, you know, it's a wonderful life. In fact, that I always still tell me, I've met many people, even lots of scientists, most of them are not happy because they're worried about their job, they're worried about salary, their money. But I'm one of the happiest men I know. You may not know. I think in this country, everyone I'm the happiest. You all find some excuse, no, that's not that for me, everything is fine. Wonderful. Science has been wonderful. I think life has been a wonderful experience because science has been my great companion other than my wife. <laughs> and you know, that's why to do science. I always quote some poetry today, there's no time to do that. Uh, I usually quote Tagore on this occasion. It's very important to do it, to be a good scientist, to have a bit selfless, be generous, particularly to young people. To make young people do the outstanding things, give them an opportunity. So that's what I've tried my best. I've had hundreds of people who have worked with me. It's been a great pleasure to work with young people. Just doing science is not enjoyable. Doing science with those young people has been wonderful. Lots of young people. It's been great. And don't worry about anything. I know life is, can be difficult. In a crowded planet, but to a crowded India, it will be more crowded than you grow up. There will be another few crores of children that will be born. Don't worry about it. You keep mind, mind, mindful of your own interests. Only thing is, whatever you want to do, make up your mind. Don't listen to your parents. That's thing. <laughs> don't listen to your friends. Don't be that even to the teachers. Make up your mind on what you want to do. You make up your mind, do exactly that. But I have been lucky that in my life, at the age of 17, I decided to resign. I want to do what exactly I want to do. Perfectly I knew. And fortunately, there are wonderful parents who never interfered with me. If they had interfered, I don't know what I would have done. But fortunately, here, everybody interferes in, in children's lives. So don't allow them to interfere with what you want to do. And I wish you great. Success, but one thing, even in this poor country, India, our country, those who have not given up have succeeded. Those who have tenacity, those who have dedication, those who have doggedness succeeded in India. That is how Gandhiji got his freedom. Gandhiji always said that he's a good example. People say, oh, I gave a lecture like this to IIT, IIT Bombay students. They ask me, why you never mention intelligence, brilliance? Say, yeah, yeah, that comes later. <laughs> First, we must have these three. Brilliance, yes. But you see, Gandhiji, not because Gandhiji was a brilliant man, he got freedom, not the guy. He won't give up. Learn to be exact. In fact, I always remember a famous speech is Gandhi made, very short, very exact. I think, learn to be correct and don't give up. I want to close this lecture saying, one of the finest things that can happen to a person is to do science. Not only that, start a field, start a new idea. You sow a seed, the seed becomes a little embryo, then it becomes a little sapling, the sapling becomes a plant, the plant becomes a tree, then more trees are there, then there's a forest, then there's a continent. You did the sowing of the seed and you created a continent. Nothing like that in science. No other accomplishment, no other human effort can give you as much satisfaction of creating a continent of science. I wish you all luck. Those of you interested in science, create continents in science. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful inspiring address to the Prime Minister himself. Now, it is time to participate for our address. I request Dr. S. S. Iyengar to felicitate Dr. C. M. R. Rao.
Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kiran Kumar. from the SSI Ngar, from the Siena Rao University, SSI Ngar, that is really good. Our gratitude for them 
to have believed that this is an important program and for them to have supported the program. So a big applause to all of who has been coming to Niyash over a year, trying to work with perhaps extremely busy, perhaps even difficult people around in terms of how we want to take the program forward. He has been very persistent and been sort of been there right till the end to make sure the program takes off this year. And a big thanks to you. I'm looking forward to working with you. Professor Ramana, the chairman of the National College, has been taking off his time from his extremely busy schedule. He and his team have really worked towards organizing the several rounds.